Welcome to the Zenobi Lab, where the future is analyzed today. Hello, my name is Renato Zenobi and I'm professor for analytical chemistry at ETH Zurich. The ETH is a top technical university, in fact the best in continental Europe, and regularly ranked among the top 10 or 20 worldwide, depending on which ranking you fancy. The chemistry department at ETH provides us with some of the finest research and teaching facilities. My research group is dedicated to analytical sciences. With core competencies in modern mass spectrometry, as well as nanoscale spectroscopy and imaging. For me, analytical sciences means that we study fundamental and mechanistic aspects of analytical techniques, that we develop novel instrumentation and methodologies, and based on insight and instrumentation capabilities are able to pursue some of the coolest applications imaginable. I'm always looking for talented and enthusiastic young scientists to join our group. I encourage you to contact us should you be fascinated by what you see in our publications, on our website or in this video, because fascinating it is. In the tip enhanced Raman spectroscopy team, we identify molecule with light. We infer about the shape and the chemical structure of molecules on the surface with sensitivity down to single molecules. We combine the spatial resolution of atomic force microscopy with the chemical selectivity of Raman spectroscopy. Using TERS, we can image nano defects in graphene and two-dimensional polymers. We can detect the conformation of single DNA molecules and follow the aggregation of neurodegenerative proteins. Our goal is to develop a versatile chemical microscope for surface science. Analyzing samples with mass spectrometry requires giving a molecule a charge. Several techniques have been proposed to do this in a non-destructive way, keeping most of the molecules intact. One of these is matrix-assisted laser desorption ionization, or MALDI. A laser is used to impart energy into small matrix molecules. The energy is then transferred to the analytes in the developing ablated material. The resulting ions can be manipulated in vacuum by electric and magnetic fields and separated based on their mass-to-charge ratio. We are mainly focused on fundamental studies using commercial instruments as well as unique ones like this one. It is an internal MALDI ion cyclotron resonance mass spectrometer. Understanding how the initial ions are formed and how the charges are transferred between the pressure species would enable us to make this technique more sensitive and efficient and extend its use to compounds which are currently difficult to ionize. Another non-destructive method for ionization is electrospray ionization. Electrospray ionization produces charged droplets which undergo repeated cycles of fission and evaporation, finally resulting in formation of charged analytes. This setup shown here has been developed to study the mechanisms of electrospray process. This color tunable femtosecond laser allows us to probe the species present inside the plume. A better mechanistic insight will not only further our understanding of electrospray process but will also help us increase the ion yields. We are developing novel sample targets for matrix-assisted laser desorption ionization mass spectrometry. These sample targets are called microarrays for mass spectrometry, shortly MUMS. The MUMS aims to improve reproducibility of MALDI mass spectrometry. Moreover, the technology is thought to facilitate the sample preparation. In collaboration with other research groups, we are constantly improving and further developing the MUMS technology. 
Lately we are applying microarray-based multi-mass spectrometry to investigate problems in bioprocess monitoring. In our team we are investigating non-covalent interactions using mass spectrometric techniques and surface plasma resonance. Non-covalent interactions are present in every biochemical pathway of living organisms. Recent advances in soft ionization mass spectrometry enable the analysis of intact proteins and complexes that are held together by weak non-covalent interactions. In our team we are using electrospray ionization and matrix-assisted laser desorption ionization mass spectrometry not only to obtain the accurate molecular weight of a complex, but also to define binding constants of protein ligand or protein-protein interactions. In addition, we perform interaction studies in the presence of cofactors or inhibitors and observe structural changes using the power of ion mobility separation. We also focus on the development of novel methods, such as the combination of surface plasma resonance spectroscopy and matrix-assisted laser desorption ionization mass spectrometry and capillary gap sample mass spectrometry for screening and profiling in drug discovery. The goal of our project is to diagnose a variety of lung diseases by means of breath analysis. Every second we're exhaling hundreds of metabolites, which can give a deep insight into the metabolic state of a person. Using secondary electrospray ionization mass spectrometry, we can detect these molecules with unprecedented sensitivity and specificity. You can breathe directly into the instrument and the molecules in your breath are rapidly analyzed online without any sample preparation. To identify molecules in exhaled breath that are specific for a certain disease, we first record a database of mass spectra of exhaled breath of patients and healthy people. Using biostatistics we then try to identify biomarkers that could be used to diagnose the disease further on. People of all ways of life and age come to our lab to support our research, to find disease biomarkers, to characterize different phenotypes and to take a step forward to a more personalized medicine. In the ambient mass spectrometry team, we also work with another very sensitive soft ionization technique, so-called active capillary plasma ionization. Our ionization source is based on the electric barrier discharge and was developed in our lab. We analyze complex samples by directly coupling solid phase microstruction to mass spectrometry, without any chromatographic separation of the analyte's previous ionization. We are able to ionize and quantify small molecules like pesticides, illicit drugs and metabolites at low picogram per milliliter concentration levels, way below the capabilities of conventional analytical techniques. This very high sensitivity is particularly useful when dealing with environmental, biomedical and forensic samples, where sensitive, accurate and fast results have to be provided. Our team is also very active in fundamental studies with the aim to understand the ionization mechanism in our plasma source. We are presently determining the nature of all the reactive species, which will allow us to further improve the sensitivity and specificity, as well as discover an over application for the source.